All right, the preschool is a stainless steel building with a glass interior. I want the playground designed by VCU students. It's going to have a koi pond and a rock garden. Um, the artwork will be displayed by the children on the inside glass walls during the daytime. The children will go to the main office to get the art supplies. There will be three teachers in a room. There's 16 students per class with one liaison student that will learn to be a liaison between the classrooms exchanging toys and games. I don't know where the bathrooms are yet. We'll have to have the architect help design that. Um, there's a garden on the outside which the children will help plan. There's um, small animals for the two-year-olds, a little bit larger animals for the three-year-olds, and a larger, the largest animal for the four-year-old to take care of, so they learn to take care of animals. The walls are ocean tanks, um, well, fish tanks, um, salt water, fresh water, so they learn to take care of aquariums like the ocean. Um, there's TV time where they um, videotape the children from around the world. Um, each day there's a different culture, um, different country. We'll study one country from around the world each day. The children go from 8 to 5, um, three teachers in a room, uh, college students. Um, the college students are in the dorm room at night and they can um, do their laundry there. There's a workout room. There's two to a dorm room. In the evenings they can go into their city and explore or party. And it's a semester abroad, just one semester. They'll have to take a class at the university to learn how to teach the preschool children. In, in the mornings, they'll have yoga, they'll learn the alphabet from the country they're studying, they'll learn the colors, the numbers, they'll have a snack in the morning, they'll have lunch, they'll have another snack from the country. The foods will come prepackaged. the children will go into the kitchen and help prepare the foods. Um, there'll be a cart, they'll take it around. The, the, big, tri the big thing is the two-year-olds will communicate with the other two-year-olds from that country on the TV. Like say it's Ghana for the day. All the children from all the 82 preschools that I have planned will all see Ghana on the TV and all the two-year-olds will talk to the other two-year-olds from Ghana. They'll see the names of all the children and they'll learn. They'll see all the pictures because there's going to be 33 Ghana students. So they each learn each of the names of all the Ghana students that day. And so they'll do that three or four times a year. So by the time they're four years old and they go to Disney World, they'll actually know these children. So when they get to meet them, they'll know these children from the TV. So when they're four years old and they spend a week in Disney World, they'll actually form friendships. And then in the club afterwards, where they keep in touch for life, over the computer and maybe if there's money I think and I think there will be if we make a Disney movie I've got an idea for a Disney movie which I'll tell you all more about at a later date um, and plus there could be a charm movie and um, they could have field trips you know maybe we could arrange some field trips where the children could stay in touch uh, maybe they could do a Disney World trip every two or three years or something where they could stay in touch but the main thing is we want these children to be friends for life, so they'll have contacts all over the world for life. But then they'll have a deep understanding of each other's culture because they came up from preschool together. And they'll keep in touch through the computer and friendships for life. And they'll understand all of these different countries of the world. They'll understand their alphabet, their language, their numbers, their names, their families. And, um, It'll be a one world culture starting. And we can all keep track of it on satellite TV. We can tune in and watch these. I call them the babies, but they're not babies anymore. Now they're 10 and 12 years old. They're 13, 14. They're dating. Maybe someone even said maybe some of them would get married to each other. You never know. But um, it will unify us as a world, this preschool. It will unify us. We'd all be in this together, this preschool art movement. And um, we all have a responsibility to educate our children. I'm not saying change the culture. There'll probably still be bullfighting. 
I couldn't stick a bowl with one of those sticks. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do that to a bowl. I guess some people can. But, it's sport. I couldn't, I couldn't, ta I couldn't play football either, really. But, you know, gladiators, you know, the whole history of all that. So anyway, in my small way, I just want to start education of children as best I can and build these preschools to make the world a little bit better place. And if they work out with the 82 and all the capital cities of the world, we could franchise them like McDonald's. And then other children could go to the preschool. And these are free preschools. They're going to be free. Because they're going to be subsidized by my artwork. If we sell prints of my artwork, t-shirts, I do, I do all sorts of artwork. And other artists can contribute to it if they want. Music, things like that. We need industry. We need to pick ourselves up out of this depression. So that's my idea. I'm sticking to it. <laughs>